I feel like it's just really important that hockey is a very inclusive place so that everyone can play hockey no matter what. Okay. <laughs> you know, my kids have experienced so much playing hockey. They've made so many good friends, and so have we, our best friends. We met at hockey, and I cherish that, and I'm thankful for that. And if there could be more people that could experience that, that would be fantastic. Hi, my name is Nevaeh Madigan, and I love playing hockey. So I started playing hockey second year novice, so I think it's my sixth year playing hockey. I'm an assistant captain. I do my best to work hard on the ice and try and help everyone the best I can and just be a leader and try and be like a role model. I only know two other black girls that play hockey that I've actually played with, so I feel like there needs to be more representation. My grandma came across Black Girl Hockey Club. She sent it to my mom, so I applied for a scholarship. I've got it twice, and both, I think, was sponsored by the Flames Foundation. Soraya Tinker is one of the mentors for the program, and she has blogs, and they have meetings once a month, and they have a newsletter. They do equipment support. They really support growing the game for black girls. <laughs> She's never experienced any discrimination from her teammates. It's that undertone of the looks and you see the questions in people's eyes. It's typically not the kids, it's more the parents. We haven't had too many negative experiences. We've had on one team where parents have asked questions like if my mom was my real mom or if she was a nanny. It sucks, it hurts. It hurts. You know, two kids in hockey is busy. You're Uber driver, you're the bank of hockey. I manage her team. Both me and my husband, we do so much for the teams, so you don't want to ever feel left out because of being discriminated against your color, right? I grew up in a small town in Brooks, Alberta, um, so the closest place to us would be Medicine Hat, that was the larger city, and then Lethbridge and obviously Calgary. Most of the leagues then that my brother played in, it was mainly white. On my son's team, we're a very diverse team. Everyone's very inclusive. You still get some of the ugly parts of sports, what we don't like to see, but uh, it's definitely few and far between now. So to see it from then till now, there's been drastic differences. I feel like um, doing like interviews and getting the scholarship and even just being at the rink shows other people or even younger girls that everyone can play hockey. I think it's important because hockey is community for all. Hockey is something that brings people together. I would say to girls of color who are interested in hockey to just try it because once you find a group of girls that you become close with, it becomes a very supportive environment. So I just say just try it and see how it goes.